Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the official Mamiya ZE 35mm uh, camera review. So today, of course, like I said, we're going to be reviewing this. Mamiya ZE. Now, this camera I bought off of Etsy uh, for about $72, which includes the... Uh, shipping price so it was about forty to forty two dollars dollars when I bought it now I really like the feel of this camera um you know I'm not sure if this is made out of metal or not really or uh, if this is even real leather but it sort of feels like it but this came with a 50 millimeter lens let me zoom in a little bit came with a 50 millimeter lens on it f 1.7 is the lowest you can go and f 16 is technically the highest but is a little extra stop um, you know it has everything from 1.5 feet away to you know infinity so for like mountains and stuff um, you, of course, have your film advance and then shutter release. Um, here you have your um, auto for uh, what shutter speed. You have, uh, you can press this button down and go to auto exposure lock, or you can go to X mode, which is just using the camera without the battery in it and you have a uh, nice handy bulb mode for if you're doing any uh, long exposure shots. Now over here, we'll zoom back in, so you can see we have our exposure dial. Uh, you go down this way, so you press this button here, you go that way to overexpose it, and up that way to underexpose it. I just always keep it at zero. And here you have your uh, film ISO selector which you pull up on this ring here and you change it by doing that. Of course I mainly use ISO 200 so I always keep it there. Now, as you can see got a nice um, easy to use viewfinder you have a little space to put your uh, this little backing uh, right here on your uh, film box uh, to stick in there so that you remember what ISO film you are shooting at just in case if uh, you know you're in the middle of taking a shot and you can't like you forget that you can check um, so now we're going to look at the inside of the camera a bit. And to get to the inside of the camera, you take this, which is uh, also the film rewinder. You pull this tab. I just like to pull this tab. Uh, and then you lift up, and then it'll pop open. So now, here we go, and we have the inside. Um, I'm going to show you guys the shutter so you can watch it. There's a shutter and I'm gonna let it I'm gonna set it to bulb mode real quickly and uh, let you see it more there. And then so as you can see the shutter there's a few different parts to it. Um over here you have your take up reel for uh the film. And here you have where you would place your film cartridge, which I'm going to show you guys how to do right now, actually. Because for those of you who have not used film before, it may be difficult, you know, to put film in. And so I thought I might just give you guys a little tutorial. So, usually when you buy film, it'll come in a little package like this. I just have a uh, bad roll, not, ex not like expired, but... um. It was just a roll that um, 
it was the first roll that I ever did anything on, so I just kind of use it almost as a test roll or when I'm bored and I want to uh, pretend like I'm taking pictures because I'm bored and I really do like taking pictures. So what you want to do is you want to take it out of the little, um, you know, container it came in. And then you just want to pop it right inside there. Make sure that's up. And then what I like to do is just go ahead and close it down. Now, this isn't actually part of the film. Well, it technically is, but it's called a leader. And you just want to pull some of that out so that it kind of goes over it. And then, let me move it around here. You take it and you place it in here. There's a little yellow thing, like kind of like almost a line indicating that's where you want to put your fill. Now next, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to take your film advance and you want to pull it forward and then just snap the shutter. Do it again. Snap the shutter. Pull it a little bit more. And then you're pretty much good. And then I just say do it one more time. And then what you want to do is you want to focus on your exposure count. So as you can see, we are just at the start, which um, is not where you want to start shooting. Don't start shooting here because then you'll get about three frames that are useless. Um, just go ahead, hit the shutter once, move it forward, and as you can see we're right behind the one, hit it again, move it forward, and then one more time, and then now we're at one. So now we're ready to start officially shooting our exposures. Now, let's say, you know, you go, take a few pictures, and you're out. You have gotten to 24, which is what this is. The highest this can go is about 36 or 37. It has that little uh, extra kind of like frame thing. So, what you want to do is you want to go, and you want to press this button on the bottom here. And then you can take your camera back, pull this little latch up like you did when you were going to undo it. Go ahead, start turning, and you should feel a little bit of pressure as you're turning it. And then your exposure counter is going to count all the way back to start and when you let go it should spin around a bit don't worry film's gonna be all good and as you can see I still have a little bit more there so I'm gonna continue pulling some of that so now you have your film put it back in your cartridge and you're ready to either develop it yourself or go to a lab or your local pharmacy or, you know, Walmart or something like that. I would personally prefer Walmart because they have same-day pickup. And you can go and get your film developed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review because... There are not a lot of reviews on this camera at all on YouTube and I thought that I would bring you guys one because you guys really deserve to see one because I would hate for people to not know what they're doing with their camera uh, and, you know, feel like they've wasted money on it. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys enjoyed this one and watch out for my short film that's coming soon that's called Why You Should Use Film.